Hey, this is Travis from TheLostHiker.com again. I uh, figured I would go through a, just a short walkthrough on how I mounted my fish finder on my boat. Um, as some of you may notice on some of the other videos and stuff that I posted, I have a 2012 Wilderness Systems Ride 135. Great boat. I've had it for a little over a month now, I guess. Had it out probably a half a dozen times. Absolutely love it. Um, I haven't had it out on a river yet. So, you know, that's the one place I really, really want to test it, but I'm sure it'll do fine. Super stable boat. Love it. Um, and one of the popular things, you know, I, I fish quite a bit on lakes. I actually fish more on lakes than I do on rivers, obviously. But um, a lot of guys, you know, they don't really see the need for a fish finder on a kayak, especially if they're doing river fishing. Just true, you really... I mean, it would come in helpful, but river fishing, it's a little bit different than lake fishing for obvious reasons. And, you know, you don't really need one. Plus, they kind of get in the way and there's a higher chance of, uh, a greater chance of damaging one. But uh, I chose to put this one on here. And um, this is a Humminbird Piranha Max 160. I uh, went with a 160 because I only needed basic functionality. For fish finder so you know I wasn't really worried about uh, having color or GPS or even you know the ability to see thermoclines although later on I may if I do I'll get a different one but for now this one for 90 bucks super great deal works great and I mounted it so I could remove it pretty easily now I was gonna go with uh, like a ram mount or scotty mount so you could bolt straight to the base but I actually kind of got to play around before then and figured out a really nifty way to mount this and uh, it works really good actually. Basically what I did, I'll go ahead and pull it out here. On the bottom of this base, you have a little piece that extends out. I don't know if the light you can really see it. But there's a little piece that extends down right here and it happens to fit inside a half inch coupling perfectly. Basically meaning the little tube piece that comes down from here is the same circumference as a half inch pipe or you know the outer diameter of it. So it fits in this coupling perfect. So what I did with this coupling is stuck it on there and then cut about a two and a half to three inch long piece of half inch PVC, stuck it in there, obviously I painted it, and uh, it actually fits on here really tight. I actually do have it glued with a little bit of goop to uh, just for extra security purposes, you know, but um, I don't think it's going to go anywhere. It's pretty tight fit. So, the um, reason why I wanted to do something like this was notice I have the cables routed through there. Makes it for a super clean install. I'm using a Scotty, I believe this is a t number 241 mount. Let's see if I can set this down here. Using a 241 flush mount. And the bottom of it, actually, you can knock it. It's got a little plug that comes out. And um, you can knock it out to route your cables through there. And then it's got this cap on here. So, you know, if I don't want to use this thing, I can just unplug these cables, pull them through the base, push them through into the hole, and flip this cap down, no water. So, you know, it's pretty simple to do. You know, when you do want to use it, route your cables up through there, through the base. And let's see here. Stick it down in there, and there's a little notch down there that normally locks like a Scotty rod holder in place. You just work it past that notch like that and sit it down, and it catches just enough that it gives a little bit of tension. You know, it's not going to move on its own, it takes a little bit of effort to move it around, and uh, it also, like I'm pulling up on it pretty good there it's not going to fall out on you even if the boat flips upside down now that being said if you do want a little bit of extra added security what you can do is let me flip this thing open here see if we can see inside the hull a handy dandy light on here as you can see up there you see where that uh the rod holder mount comes down or the flush mount comes down you can actually drill a hole through there and drill a hole through it and the half inch PVC like do it while the 
the uh, fish finders mounted in there. Drill just a, a small enough hole for you know a really small lynch pin or PTO style pin to go through. Obviously, make sure you got your wires pulled out of there first so you don't drill through a wire. But drill a hole small enough that you can you know fit a smaller pin through there. That way, it'll kind of secure that in place, keep it from turning from side to side or pulling completely out. But you know, small enough that uh, wires that um, you route your wires up through there throw the pin through there and it won't pinch the wires. It's kind of hard to explain but you know I think most people will get it. As you can see my cables come down there. I've actually got my transducer kind of hard to see. Let's see if I can get my lightning back there. Transducer is glued down there with some Lexel and I sliced off a piece of a pool noodle. I haven't had it on the water yet to try it. Hopefully it'll work pretty good most people say they work great so we'll see how it goes um, right here's my battery bag this is actually like a little four dollar lunch bag from Walmart and uh, you see my battery down in it here uh, actually oop, I don't have my battery in there well my battery fits down there perfect um, and then I've got my my cables here for it and uh, this bag the reason why I chose it is it's got a detachable strap right here, and I can actually unbuckle that with the battery in there and buckle it around one of those towers. I call them towers, but where the scupper holes basically come through the hole. I can strap it around there and keep it from moving around the hole, and it keeps everything nice, neat, and organized. Um, now, one thing to note, the battery bag isn't waterproof like the waterproof boxes are, but... On the lake, I don't really think I'll be taking on that much water, so I'm not too worried about it. Although, that being said, you can um, fit that bag into, this is a rolled up dry bag, but you can fit it in one of these, like a 5 or 10 liter dry bag, if you're really that paranoid about it. Or, I may eventually just go ahead and get a waterproof box for it to uh, stick the battery down into and and uh, like bungee cord it in there somehow. But... For now, this setup works good for me, and like I said, I'm, you know, when you're on a lake, you're not taking on too much water anyways, or hopefully not, and uh, it works pretty good. So, that's basically it. Um, like I said, you know, you can unplug this, the wires, push them back down in the base there, pull this out, and uh, that way when you're on the river or somewhere that you don't really need or want a fish finder in the way, you can take it out, don't have to worry about it. And it's in a pretty good little location there. You know, you're kind of looking back from the cockpit here. Um, pretty reasonable distance there. You can kind of see everything, still be able to lean forward and push the buttons and all that to, uh, you know, do whatever you need to with it. But works pretty good and uh, should work fine on the water. Um, I think I'll end up using it quite a bit on the lakes and stuff. I don't really, the fish finding capability or, you know, possibility of fish finding, that's you know great but I actually really just primarily wanted it for the depth and the water temp readings now obviously with the um, transducer mounted inside the hull the water temp is going to be just a hair off for a while at least until you know the, the bottom of the hull gets the same temperature as the water I'm not that worried about it the big thing is just the depth just one other depth and kind of what kind of structure I might be floating over and and the little one you know Prana Max 160 will give that so I think it's a pretty good little deal and you know 90 bucks can't really complain I did get this one from uh, um, AustinKayak.com gave me another you know had another great deal with it 90 bucks free shipping got it in four or five days so can't really complain love it you know love their customer service and uh, really happy with them so far I definitely have a lot more orders going out for them and that's um, that's basically all I got to say about it now I'll uh, stop rambling for you guys and if y'all have any questions or anything just let me know or check out the lost .com. I do have an entry on there about this and kind of shows a couple of pictures um, it's nothing really different than what sh I showed you here but you know whatever you uh, whatever you want to do but anyhow like I said have any questions leave a comment and I appreciate it thanks